Today Vladimir Putin reveals to the world a secret that European has been hiding from African for more than a millennium that Jesus was black. Let's come together in reasonable dialogue to honor our ancestors and reclaim the world through an African lens. Russia opens its centuries-old vaults to reveal Jesus was black and other biblical Israelites let's delve into the most recognizable figure. Russian President Vladimir Putin recently opened an ancient box revealing that Jesus was black. At least, that's the claim circulating on social media in Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, Uganda and elsewhere since late March 2024. The claim includes a video divided into three frames. At top is footage of Putin at a table with uniformed men, opening an ornate golden box. Inside we briefly see a Russian Orthodox religious artwork, or icon. The frame at bottom left shows a similar artwork, of a dark-skinned Jesus, and at bottom right is a photo of Putin pointing a finger. The video starts with an artificial-sounding voiceover, Putin reveals to the world a secret that European has been hiding from African for millennium, that Jesus was black. A millennium is 1,000 years. The clip then cuts to a second section headed with the text Russia says Jesus was black with proof. A different voiceover claims Russia has opened its cellars to reveal biblical icons featuring darker-skinned figures. The footage shows paintings in what seems to be a museum. Then, one by one, nine different artworks of people from the Christian tradition appear on screen. All have darker hair and skin than the common Western image of a blonde-haired, blue-eyed Jesus. This includes recognizing that God knows all things, even secrets. Believers should honor God more than they fear death, or than they worry about things like food and clothes. Christians are to remain ready for Christ's return, even as faith separates those who believe from those who do not. Join our adventure and never miss out. Subscribe now to get the latest updates and be part of our growing community. We're all about sharing tips, tricks, and smiles. Let's make every day exciting together. Luke 12 verse 2. King James Version. 2 For there is nothing covered, that shall not be revealed, neither hid, that shall not be known. New International Version. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, or hidden that will not be made known. New Living Translation. The time is coming when everything that is covered up will be revealed, and all that is secret will be made known to all. English Standard Version Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. Berean Standard Bible There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, and nothing hidden that will not be made known. Berean Literal Bible And nothing is concealed up which will not be revealed, nor hidden which will not be known. King James Bible for there is nothing covered, that shall not be revealed, neither hid, that shall not be known. New King James Version For there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, nor hidden that will not be known. New American Standard Bible But there is nothing covered up that will not be revealed, and hidden that will not be known. NASB 1995 But there is nothing covered up that will not be revealed, and hidden that will not be known. NASB 1977 But there is nothing covered up that will not be revealed, and hidden that will not be known. Everything that is hidden will be found out, and every secret will be known. Duerim's Bible For there is nothing covered, that shall not be revealed, nor hidden, that shall not be known. English Revised Version But there is nothing covered up, that shall not be revealed, and hid, that shall not be known. The New Testament includes no descriptions of Jesus' appearance before his death, and the Gospel narratives are generally indifferent to people's racial appearance or features. Jesus was born in a Middle Eastern country, so his skin complexion and eye color would follow those of men from the Middle East, unlike the fake Western Caucasian look that is far from the truth. In fact, regionally speaking, it would actually make more sense for him to be black-skinned than white with blonde hair. According to the Bible, Book of Daniel, chapter 10 colon 6 and Revelation chapter 1 colon 14 dash 15, Jesus was described as being black. Verse. New International Version. His body was like topaz, his face like lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and his voice like the sound of a multitude. New Living Translation. His body looked like a precious gem. His face flashed like lightning, and his eyes flamed like torches. 
His arms and feet shone like polished bronze, and his voice roared like a vast multitude of people. English Standard Version His body was like beryl, his face like the appearance of lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and the sound of his words like the sound of a multitude. In the Bible, Jesus talks about his return in several passages, primarily found in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, as well as in the Book of Acts. One of the key passages where Jesus speaks about his return is in Matthew 24. Here, Jesus describes the signs of the end times and his second coming. In Matthew 24 verse 36, Jesus specifically addresses the timing of his return, saying, But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. This verse emphasizes that the exact time of Jesus' return is unknown to everyone except God the Father. This theme of unpredictability and the need for vigilance and readiness is echoed in other parts of the New Testament as well. Today, we're diving into a thought-provoking topic, the depiction of Jesus' race throughout history. Different cultures have portrayed Jesus in ways that reflect their own communities. Some depict Jesus as white, while others represent him as black or of Middle Eastern descent, closer to what historical and geographical context might suggest. What do you think about these representations? How does the portrayal of Jesus' race impact our understanding of his teachings and his message? Let's discuss this in the comments below. Please remember to keep the conversation respectful and constructive. Many scholars and archaeologists now agree that Jesus was most likely a brown-skinned, brown-eyed man. We've shared some great moments today, and I'd love for you to stick around for more. By subscribing, you're not just a viewer, you become a part of our family here. So, hit that subscribe button and let's continue this journey together. Thank you for your support.